and for the first time we're hearing from Kobe's widow. Liza Lucas is at the bridge with much more on Vanessa Bryan's social media statement on her heartbreaking loss. That's right, Vanessa turned to her Instagram page, posting a picture of the whole family and some heartbreaking words, just sharing her devastation and the loss that the family is experiencing, saying that there aren't enough words to describe our pain right now. She says, I write, take comfort in knowing that Kobe and Gigi both knew that they were so deeply loved. She writes, they were our beautiful blessings taken from us so soon and as part of this post she also shared an update saying that the mama sports foundation has set up a mamba on three fund to help support the other families affected by this tragedy now her statement has been commented on by the likes of aisha curry cindy crawford olivia munn just to name a few a lot of people sharing their prayers their support trying to uplift this family as they continue to deal with this tragedy and the lakers also expressing their devastation in a series of tweets that they released overnight. They talked about being forever changed by the sudden loss of Kobe Bryant and Gianna right there on our Facebook page. Many of you have responded and turned to this update by Vanessa Bryant and others. And I just wanted to say that we have put this full statement on 11alive.com where you can read in full, guys. All right, Liza, thank you. We should also mention that there has been no word on funeral arrangements yet. Um, but when I first read Vanessa Bryant's statement, uh, I, can, I can hear her pain, I can feel her pain. Uh, and just a few days after losing her husband and her daughter, just, I, I feel like it came across very strong. You know, she has to support this family now. She mm -hmm. has to be the rock. And it, it is heartbreaking, oh, it really wow. is. Beyond heartbreaking. But I know that she probably found some type of comfort or solace in the fact that the entire world the entire world has been praying for her, mm -hmm. going to memorials for her and her son, uh, her and her uh, her daughters, uh, Kobe and her his daughter's uh, life, and the other seven others that were lost. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's comfort in knowing that he he affected so many people. This mm -hmm. this death. So I know she's hurting, but it seems like she's surrounded by a strong village. I hope so, because I I mean I, my biggest fear is losing a child. I mean I did that just. Uh, it really is my biggest fear, but then losing a child and a spouse at the same time, oh my yeah. gosh, it just, I, I, my heart just bleeds for her, and I'm praying for her and her family, and I'm glad they're surrounded by mm -hmm. people who can support them. Not just you, but yeah, the world praying for her, uh, and she said that in her, her statement, uh, and it has to be that strong. We can't fathom this, no way. so imagine what she's going through. So it's good that, you know, she has that support system, and uh, she's got to move forward, and hopefully the community will be right there to help her do that. Absolutely. That. And of course, folks, you can actually chat with us about this full story on our Morning Rush Insiders Facebook page. Um, in fact, again, I'll repeat it, mambaon3.org. Mambaon3.org, that is the website that they created to help all nine of the victims' families, okay?